What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and today I want to give some tips on not raging, and I'll have an awesome skin giveaway at the end provided by lolskinshop.com for you guys to support the movement. I'll also have a video on dealing with ragers coming later. Now, when it comes to raging, it's all about your mindset. If you let yourself rage, you're going to rage, but if you can have the self-control, you can easily stop it. Now, if you're the kind of person with a solid mindset who usually has an easy time to not rage, but only manages to explode when someone provokes you, what you should do is write yourself a note on something like a post-it telling yourself to not rage and when someone is raging at you, you can just mute them and then carry on with the game and look at your post-it again. However, this video is of course for those that rage fairly often and especially when you're losing. The key factor with these types of people is that they rage when something bad happens. No one is going to rage when you're winning because you're winning. People rage because they really care about winning and they really want to win. That or they rage when they're being raged at. The problem is that raging does absolutely nothing to help you win and you only make things worse. First, realizing that you rage is actually a huge step in becoming a non-rager and that self-awareness is definitely absolutely necessary. Now, there are actually quite a few strategies I came up with, so you might have to try a few and see what works, but let's jump right into them. The first strategy is what I mentioned earlier, physically writing yourself a note to not rage. This may work for you even if you rage often, depending on who you are. Honestly, I used to be somewhat of a rager, and this is the tactic that I used to improve my attitude, and it worked extremely well. Another thing you can do is focus on improving rather than winning. If you play to improve rather than playing to win, you should care more about improving rather than winning, and as long as you are improving, it's easy to not rage. But if you aren't, you have no one to blame but yourself, and it can be fixed with practice anyways. Another thing that might work for some people is to rebind your chat key to something extremely obscure. When Riot mutes players, they tend to always come back as a less toxic person, and you can stimulate that by binding your chat key to something that is nearly impossible to press. Things like Control, Alt, Shift, Q, P, B, or something like that may work. You get the idea. This can work because you can still communicate with your team through pings and things like that, but you won't be able to constantly type out messages to rage. Finding a way to just not talk unless it is a necessary communication for the game can also work out really well. You can also try changing on how you approach the game. Just focus on having fun, and if something bad happens, just have a good laugh rather than a shouting match. You can easily play for fun but still do your best by simply just playing the game when you're in a good mood, and if you aren't, simply just avoid ranked play. It is a game after all. Raging will not help you have fun. If your teammates are annoying, raging back only further encourages them, or makes them feel bad. Finding something to consolidate your rage can actually be a phenomenal idea. Things like a stress ball or a punching bag or a pillow that you can just hit, something that you can just rage on while in the middle of a game can work extremely well as you can just use that to have your self-control. Instead of flaming that person that is 04 top, you can just have a squeeze of the stress ball or some hits on the pillow and just go straight back to playing. This is actually probably the biggest one that has the biggest chance of success that people don't really think about because it's definitely what those items like stress balls are intended to do. And of course, muting others can also prevent you from raging, but that can hinder your crucial communication with your team, so that might not be the best idea. If worse comes to worse, you can honestly just stop playing. After the game is over, of course. Whenever I have a rage-filled game, I will not play another game for the rest of the entire day. It simply just isn't worth it, and it isn't fun. Instead, I'll go play some other single-player games or work on other things instead, just to relax myself. League of Legends is a very fun game, but it's not that relaxing, so taking a break can help you out too. Overall, the key thing is to simply just find a strategy that works for you. Think about what you do when you're mad and how you calm yourself down. It's the same idea with raging in League. You get mad and then you need to calm yourself down. So those are some of the strategies I came up with to avoid raging. Let me know what you think and feel free to share any strategies you might have on how to not rage as well. All right, now let's get into that awesome giveaway. I have three skin codes that were very generously provided to me by my friend Andre at lolskinshop.com. On his site, he sells loads of skins like Pax Twisted Fate, Human Rise, and more for some great prices. He's 100% reliable and very easy to buy from. I recommend you guys check him out as he gave me one Riot NASA skin that works on EU West, EU Northeast, North America, and the Oceanic servers, and two pack Sivers that will work on EU Northeast and the Oceanic servers. What you need to do to win a skin for me is to write me a story about a time that you raged or about a time that you stopped your friend or a teammate from raging 
and then discuss what that respective rager learned from the experience. The stories I like the most will be presented and given a skin in a future no rage movement video that I will make, likely in a week from now. So let me hear your stories, and be sure to keep spreading the movement. Together, we can make the league community a better place. My name is Jeremy, and that is it for my video on how to not rage. I actually want to give a major shout out to Awesome Fusion at youtube.com slash awesomefusion for being the first major YouTuber to help me out with this movement. I'd love it if you could support me and him with a like, or join me on my North American chat room, Gaming Curios, which I am always in when I go online. Please subscribe for more awesome content in the future if you enjoy this video, and I'd love it if you could follow me on Facebook or Twitter, of which I will have links in the description. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.